still alive, barely looking for that one headshot that he needs. FNS will take him down. And now Nico, the bomb is planted on his side, so this might actually work out. Grenade already put up. There's Nico going for the spray once and automatic inside the smoke. Nico will take him down. Triple for him. And that Tired of is... trading skins with bots and losing money? Check out cdecided.com, a place where you can post trades and send offers to real people again. It works simply like this. Go under trades, new trade. Select the skins from your inventory that you wish to trade. And then select the skins you wish to receive offers with from the right side. And then post the trade. Now it's live on the front page and you can browse other people posted trades and send them offers. Check out cdsided.com to trade your CSGO skins person to person again. But now time starts to play a factor. Smoke off there to make things difficult. Zipex has to reposition, goes high to make sure he can cover here. Oh, that is just a master stroke from Zipex. And there is no way Elise can stop the plant. Somehow, Device and Zipex have found their way out of this situation. Elise, though, can he offer something here? 19 health and MP9. Absolutely not. Overtime between Astralis and Team Liquid. These two teams. A uh, cut from the... Oh, Zeus just swinging on him. Swerving and styling all the way to A. Woxic barely standing at this point. Flamey, I believe, takes a shot as well, so they exchange damage. Neither falls. Close proximity, very clear, because Bondic underhands the smoke. And the way it just kind of limps down into the dirt. They know he's still over there. Nobody's dealt with him. But at the same time, they're very wary as to where Woxix got off to. He's going to peek off Truck, nails the closest player. Still, the bomb's been planted, and Bondix dropped, but Woxix still stands, and he stands tall on 20 HP. Calling for the rotate upwards, Zeus with a headshot into Dead Fox the moment he rounds the dumpster. But this is on Woxix. Four kills already, looking to close map two on the ace. He taps the bomb, sees the shoulder, and Flamey's <laughs> down for the count. It is Hellraisers moving to map three. Oh my god, and they definitely... Ooh, leg shot coming in. There is actually three men on the other side here for Cloud9. Skadoodle still going to be going down. Pushing in. Oh, Chris probably should have had that kill. At least he's still alive in a three-on-three. -three. Well, I say that, but Automatic is on the hunt. Putting up that Molotov could be absolutely great. Robs standing at the edge of it. Oscar getting a kill, but it's still a two versus one. Coming in from behind. Oscar with a great kill. Oh, and he gets the last one too. Taking down Tarek. What a mad sequence. That is such a mad... And if they boost and connect it, they can hold on to it. Brokey goes through. He misses, oh, though. Yeah. And NIP can get a bomb plant with 15 seconds remaining. Brokey and Olaf, the two on three that needs to happen if FaZe want to keep this series going. lecro has been picked up. The shot connects for Brokey. And it's down to twist with the AWP. Oh. He knows where both players are. The bomb in his sight. And the shot connects. It's the oh. one on one that won't happen. Brokey picking it up and taking us to yet another overtime. What a shot and an absolute half there. This man is a... Gonna be the big crims is Dink, but Liaz still not able to find that kill. He's not gonna get it still. Golden's found one. What a transfer. Liaz has done just as much as he possibly could. I have no idea how Flusher didn't get that kill. Crims, he's on the site and he's gonna go try and go for the bomb plant here, but they do have a Molotov and with the Krieg out, they sneak through. The uh, Molotov actually doesn't do anything. 28 seconds, and this should not be a winnable round for him. He's so low already. JKS on the other side. One bullet will drop. Oh, no way! I see the 16 trims. A gone like clutch. Everything goes the way of Fnatic, and that is the power they wield on this stage. Three time champions. They're in the semifinals one more time at IEM Katowice, the world championship. Soft pick. Hoping to be flashed through, hoping to use this to his advantage, but he can't get anything, just some damage, and it's not good enough. Is there going to be a boost here? Finnegan thinking about it, thinking about whether he can catch off the bomb planter, but it's not going to be the case. Finnegan finds him after the bomb has been planted already, and it's a 2v3. Nade goes through. Freddy Frog is tagged as well. 
Can oh. they bring this together? The secondary boost. They're not expecting it. It's back to a 2v2. And he drops down as well. They don't think that these players are going to come in from below. It's boost after boost. It's boost <laughs> gaming. And Finnegan is completely wrecking this. He has four kills so far. Going for the ace clutch. He's going to be swinging out soon. Relaxes underneath him. Finnegan knows. Finnegan's peeking. There's a P250. He doesn't have HP. Oh. AWB and Adam Finnegan with the ace will clutch it out. His Sparta take it away. It's not easy, but it's damn well pretty oh oh my god it's over to cello i can't believe jazilla just did that it's just kng singularity the underdogs in back-to-back bo 3s may just go 2-0 on the day and secure that championship bracket kng though may have something to say about it this man may be on his way out but he wants to win this ryan cc he's got two can he get the third roy no kit Hygrix has to peek. He jiggles it. Oh! He does it. Get out of town. Does he have time? He does. This is crazy. Oh my god. The man who's leaving town. Kept INTZ in town for another few rounds at least. K and Bomb should go down here. Tenski finding Hampus as well. This is looking better from the Norwin side. Draken still with the Opto. Still a danger. Still finds the bomb. And we'll be buying some time with the incendiary as well. And now they know that two players are close towards ramp. HS, how aggressive do you want to get? Get smoked out. Rusty finds Tenski in the meantime as well. Oh, he's taken down by Draken. That's a fantastic find from him. And suddenly it's only two Nor Norwin players left. Draken has been holding his own. The bomb is finally going down though. But he finds another one in the smoke. This is Draken's round. Hara now in the one versus three. Draken has found three Norman players. Which way do you look first here, Hara? Finds the first one. Finds the second one. Oh Hara, can you do it? Go! Oh, and he finds Hara! the last one with one HP. What a fantastic clutch from Hara as he saves the round for his Norwegian side. Oh, what a clutch. Oh, making my pants moist, Hara. I love it. Such Jeez. a close finish. What a round. Oh my That's, word. The entry's been so good on them so far. Will this be the one? No, it's not. Impulse re-peaks out. Great flick and Necro to provide the backup. Paltex left at a 1v4. He does find one. But there's three more to go. The shot's been missed. Not the second though. Never twice over. Paltex has isolated some deals potentially. But with the vents being mollied off. He's just going to go for the bomb plant directly. He knows there is not going to be anyone coming in from decontamination. He's given himself a chance. Holzak. It was a 1v4. Impulse had dominated them. But can he bring it all together? Holzak. He's waiting for this. He knows their positioning as well. But a smoke is not available for the CT side. Kits are, yes, but the doors are also open. Holzak can just swing out. Holzak's got the first. Holzak's got the second. It's a 1v4. Holzak keeps them in the lead. How is he allowed to get away? Pera zaraz pod swoim celownikiem wie, że gdzieś w okolicach MTW może od nogi musi się czaić. Hyper smoke na paczkę, tu leży Defius w BS-ie. No i już podnosi Freddy Frog, Defiusa wyczekał zawodnika CT, no i będzie w roju bomby na raz. Nie, to tylko Ninja Defius, Hyper ustawiony w odnodze, oj, te rapaty będą duże. Oj, ależ to ugrał. Freddy Frog, jeden na dwóch w takim momencie. Ależ to pokombinował. Nieprawdopodobne. Był Defius, był Smog, podniósł to, wykorzystał to w 100% i tego swojego flasha rzucił. Hyper był pewny, że broi bomę na raz, zawodnik CT, a ten... Molotov's left here on Gambit, that's a lot of trouble for Rush. He has to somehow make it out of that corner. The Molotov's aren't quite burning him, he's still staying alive, and now Gambit... The clock has turned against them, Skadoodle gets one and still alive down there, looking for the kill and hopping Skadoodle! Oh my god, he gets the kill! Saving Cloud9 and putting them on 18 rounds. You saw Tarek looking down the line for his teammate in that booth, just looking at him, wondering how on earth did he do that? It's one of those. It's a two on three as the Danes move a little bit closer, trying to see if they can end this map right here, right now. Cirque covering for the flank. Tarek down on the low ground. Another kill for Cirque, make it a triple. And now Tarek, not been a great map for him either. And he's going to be going down, leaving it all up to Cirque. And no one defusing the bomb yet. He sees one up, he flicks, he gets the kill. Now a quad, can he save it? Can he get the double OT? Cirque, you've got to be kidding me. He takes down every single one. An absolutely magnificent play.
Lands it, taking down GD. That was fantastic. It's all on BN Tech now as he tries to play from the close angle, tapping over the top of the box, needing to find these headshots, but he's unable to do it. Gets one, gets the second. BN Tech with a follow up frag as he annihilates everyone. 8 HP, and he claims that with the spray transfer, just like we saw from Nafly in that 1 versus 2, one versus two earlier. The spray transfers for these players is what's going to be sending them over the line. Can Tyloo get over that finish line, though? Get to 22 rounds and finishes in second OT.